Good evening, this is MemphisWeather.net meteorologist Eric Proceus with a uh, short video discussion for you tonight to uh, bring you the latest information on uh, what will be Tropical Depression Harvey as it moves across the Mid-South uh, tomorrow into tomorrow night. And so we're going to get right into it here. This is recorded on Wednesday evening. Uh, just after 6.30. <clears throat> Here's the latest track from the National Hurricane Center showing where Harvey is expected to go. It's down in southwestern Louisiana right now. And you'll notice the track takes it up across the Mississippi Delta area during the day tomorrow, just to the east of Memphis, uh, around the Tennessee-Mississippi border by 1 a.m. on Friday, and continuing to the northeast, north of Nashville, uh, up to around Cincinnati, Ohio by Saturday afternoon. The track is uh, obviously going to take it right across the Mid-South, and so we're going to talk about some of the uh, weather we're expecting here uh, based on that track. First of all, as far as the uh, watches and warnings that are in effect for right now, there is a wind advisory uh, that is in effect throughout the day tomorrow for the entire Mid-South, as well as a flash flood watch for the counties that are shown in green. That does include the entire Memphis Metro. You'll also see some of the lighter green uh, shading polygons that are on there, and those are flood warnings that have been issued for the Lusahatchee and Wolf Rivers here in the Memphis Metro, proactively ahead of what's expected to be a heavy rain threat during during the day tomorrow. So again, a flash flood watch is in effect as well as a wind advisory during the day tomorrow. The rainfall totals for this event are expected to be pretty significant and we're going to talk about timing here in just a minute, but most of this is going to fall during the day on Thursday. This is the forecast rainfall from the Weather Prediction Center, which is a uh, part of the National Weather Service. And uh, there is a band of pretty heavy rain that is expected to fall uh, right across West Tennessee. Now as that Harvey tracks up from the south to the northeast. Its track is expected to go just to the east of this heaviest band. In this case, we are expecting that heaviest rain to be to the west and north of the low pressure track. So once the low moves by to our north, we expect that rain to come to an end fairly quickly. However, during the day, uh, starting actually overnight tonight and into the day tomorrow, we're going to see widespread totals of, of at least three to six inches uh, across all of the metro area. And uh, West Tennessee portions uh, of the metro Metro, particularly along the I-40 corridor from Memphis up towards about Jackson and then continuing northeast from there could see totals that reach six to eight inches in some of those areas. I think right here uh, in Shelby County best guess we've got right now is perhaps as much as six inches of rain uh, basically over the next uh, 30 hours or so. As far as the uh, severe weather threats as Harvey moves through, mainly to the east of the center of that track is going to be where there will be a potential for an isolated tornado threat. That is to the east of Memphis, uh, but if you're uh, listening from uh, areas off to our east, a slight risk, category 2 out of 5, for severe weather tomorrow, um, mainly again east uh, to the southeast portion of West Tennessee and the eastern portions of North Mississippi uh, for an isolated tornado threat as well as a potential for some high wind um, in uh, any thunderstorms that might form. There's a marginal risk that extends back to the west of that. That does include the eastern portions of our metro area. Uh, that marginal risk, category 1 out of 5, uh, mainly for the threat of uh, high winds. We expect uh, any isolated tornadoes that might form will be uh, well east of the Memphis metro. Can't completely rule it out, but um, with these types of systems that move through, anything that might form will be uh, very quick, brief, and pretty fast moving. Uh, it'll be hard for tornado warnings to kind of keep up with some of that uh, rotation if it moves through the area. But again, I think our threat here in the Memphis metro is very low. However, high wind could be a threat here uh, in the metro, and uh, especially on that area where the rain is the heaviest on the back side or the west side of the low, uh, we could see strong northerly wind gusts that maybe get as high as 45 to perhaps 50 miles per hour, mainly during the late afternoon and evening hours tomorrow night. So let's recap what we've talked about and how to be prepared for this then. Uh, the rain will start to move in during the overnight hours tonight. It's not going to be a drenching tonight, uh, but we'll start to see some bands move across the area, feeder bands out ahead of this system. Um, those will start to intensify as we head into the afternoon and evening hours on Thursday. Rainfall could be particularly heavy during the afternoon hours and the early evening hours on Thursday. We could see as much as uh, one to two inches per hour rates uh, of rain falling. That means uh, we could get up to two inches of rain uh, in just an hour period uh, during that. And so we're, that is how we're going to be able to get to storm totals somewhere around probably six inches here in the Memphis Metro. That is going to lead to a flash flooding threat, particularly areas that are prone to flooding anyway, uh, around streams and creeks. Those are going to rise very quickly. 
Um, the Weather Service has been proactive with their uh, flood warnings for the Loosahatchee and Wolf Rivers. Those are expected to rise fairly quickly tomorrow as all of this rain falls uh, again pretty, uh, pretty quickly. The flash flooding threat is moderate to high. The stream and creek flooding threat is also high. The wind is going to peak uh, tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. 30 to 45 miles an hour is our best guess of uh, wind strength. Most of that is uh, the wind should be blowing out of the northeast in the afternoon and out of the north tomorrow evening. It's going to be quite the breezy day uh, and evening, and especially when you pair that with heavy rain, we could see the threat of some trees coming down and perhaps some scattered power outages as well. Isolated tornado threat was mentioned earlier, mainly to the east of Memphis. We encourage you then to uh, make sure that uh, tonight before you go to bed, you secure any loose outdoor objects that might uh, tend to blow around tomorrow. Uh, make sure the storm drains are clean. That's one way to make sure that we're helping uh, keep the flash flooding to a, a minimum is as fast as we can get that water that comes down into the storm drains, uh, the better off it's going to be. So if you have debris and stuff in your drains around your home, please try and take care of that. That will help as well. Avoid areas that are prone to flooding. You all know as you travel throughout the area where those uh, points are, Remember the uh, the safety tip, turn around, don't drown. If you're not sure how deep the water is, do not attempt to go across it, especially after dark tomorrow night. And certainly follow us for the latest. We're going to have the uh, the best information possible throughout the day tomorrow. We'll keep you updated on, uh, on the track of the system, uh, updated rainfall totals and wind amounts and so forth uh, throughout the day. Follow us on Facebook at memphisweather.net or on Twitter at memphisweather1 and then as well as our mobile apps. You can uh, download those, get the radar, our latest Twitter feed. Even if you don't have Twitter, you can follow us uh, on there to get the latest information from us on Twitter. Um, and you'll also have the latest forecast there in the memphisweather.mobile app. It's available for iOS and Android. You can download it from your app store. We will bring you uh, more information uh, as it becomes available, and we encourage you to uh, be safe tomorrow. Plan for very, very heavy rain during the afternoon and evening hours in particular, um, and uh, stay safe out there. Good night.